It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and I've done some research today and the research is on Indian beer, Indian lager. We've got Cobra and we've got Kingfisher, two of the largest Indian breweries. Now the reason why I've done some research is I wanted to find out if this is actually authentic Indian beer. It turns out, yeah, Kingfisher is brewed and sold in India, and so is Cobra. But these two particular bottles are brewed in the UK. They were on offer, uh, three bottles for five pounds. Uh, so without further ado, I think what we should do first of all is get them out into a glass and see what we get. So we'll start off with the Cobra. Now this is contract brewed at Burton-on-Trent. Some very clever person, and I say clever because I really mean that, um, suggested, now this is a 620 milliliter bottle coming in at 4.5% ABV in a brown bottle here. Right, so this lovely clever person, which I totally appreciate, said to me the other day, in a comment, uh, I mentioned um, Burtonization in beer, but the beer was brewed in Burton, so it couldn't have been Burtonization because it was just actually Burton water. Now, what Burtonization is, is a brewery from outside of the Burton area recreating the Burton smack, that kind of slightly farty smell you get from the water in the Burton, in the Burton on Trent area. So of course, if the beer is brewed in Burton on Trent, it can't be Burtonization, can it? So fair play for that comment, and I really kind of appreciate, whenever I put a step wrong, or whenever I make a little mistake, you guys are always there to go, hold on a minute, and I do appreciate that. So there's the one beer. fluff or a fly or something's flown in there. Uh, there's the one beer, there's the, there's the Cobra. Now let's get the Kingfisher out. Now I'm using very similar glasses here for this review. Kingfisher Lager, done my research on this too. Brown bottle, 650 millilitres of beer. And this is coming in at 4.5% ABV. But every one in three Indian beers sold around the world is a Kingfisher. So this is the number one selling beer to come out of India. This one is also brewed in India, but this particular bottle has been brewed by Heineken UK. Now, judging by my research in Heineken UK, that means it's probably going to be brewed out of Scottish and Newcastle's brewery up in Edinburgh, around the Scotland area. So this is probably more likely to be a Scottish, uh, Scottish water in this. So we got Scottish water in this Indian beer and Burton water in that Indian beer. Interesting stuff, isn't it? So let's have a look at the two beers then, side by side. I would say the Kingfisher has slightly larger bubbles and more of a head that looks like it wants to dissipate a little bit quicker. Amber in colour, straw amber coloured beer. The Cobra, I must admit, the Cobra looks more refined. Smaller bubbles, smaller carbonation, little bit of a tighter head I would say. Now, the reason why I say this is because an old brewer once told me, the smaller the bubble, the better the beer. So, so far, looking at these two beers, the Cobra got the smaller bubble. So technically, technically it could very well be the better beer. Let's get the aroma then on the Cobra. It smells okay. little bit of that kind of Burton water coming through, that 
little bit of fartiness coming through. Someone else pointed out to me, actually, that um, a German brewer opened Wrexham Lager in Wrexham because what he found was that the water in Wrexham in North Wales was the best lager brewing water in the whole of the UK. So technically, Wrexham Lager should taste more like a kind of German beer than any other of, uh, of the kind of beers out there, you know? In terms of water, good brewing water. It smells okay, the Cobra. Let's get the aroma on the Kingfisher. Yeah, slightly different that. It's more... I'm tempted to say that the Kingfisher's got more of a hop aroma to it. But I would say the Cobra's aroma is more well-rounded. Hmm. Interesting stuff. Right, let's dive in. Here's the Cobra. Okay, it's a very British lager. It's it's a very British lager, but but there's some qualities in there as well. Um, there's there's quite a nice malt, biscuity malt flavour coming through, and it's got a really nice hop finish. Actually, it's nice and bitter on the back end. It really is quite nice. Now people say these beers come alive when you have an Indian takeaway, and I've got to admit. Whenever I go for an Indian takeaway, the beer definitely comes alive. Some, somehow the beer changes. A nice cold cobra with a chicken sagaloo or a nice cold kingfisher with a garlic chilli chicken makes the world of difference with poppadoms and pilau rice and all. It, it does, it does. I, I, I don't know if it's mindset. I don't know if it's a certain mindset that kind of like puts Cobra and Kingfisher specifically with kind of Indian food, but it really does work. And apparently these beers have been brewed specifically to be eaten with Indian food. Let's try the Kingfisher. Mm. It's a little bit more raw tasting. It's not as refined as the Cobra, I would say. It's a little bit rough around the edges, the Kingfisher. It's a bit tinny and metallic. And I was looking for that in the aroma. I couldn't quite put my finger on it. But yeah, there's a certain tinniness and metallicness coming through in this Kingfisher, which I'm not 100% kind of happy with here. Um, if, if after one taste, you asked me to choose straight away, I, I think it would definitely be the, the Cobra. I would definitely be choosing the Cobra. It's a little bit more refined. It's a little bit more, there's more of a malt quality coming through. There's more of a kind of biscuit malt flavor coming through and a hoppy finish. Whereas the Kingfisher, it's rather tinny and metallic, as if someone's put a, a handful of copper nails in the bottom of your pint glass. Bit of a shame, that. It's really metallic. That is one of the most kind of metallic beers that lagers I've, I've ever reviewed. And um, I'm not sure if um, 
I think his name is Valia. Um, he was, used to own Force India, the Formula One team. He's the kind of owner and benefactor and uh, of Kingfisher. I'm not sure if he wanted his beer to taste like this. Maybe if he ever gets to watch this video, maybe he tries a bottle of Kingfisher soon um, versus a bottle of Indian Kingfisher, just to do a side by side, just to make sure the guys up in Scottish and Newcastle Heineken breweries are, are, are doing this beer justice, you know? Um, only he will know, only he will know. Um, but yeah, if I was him, I'd be grabbing a bottle of Indian Kingfisher and a bottle of UK brewed Kingfisher and just doing a little bit of a side side by side just to see if everything's kind of like hunky dory. Um, so I, I would say the winner quite easily, quite, quite easily. It's much more of a refined drink, this. It's so much smoother. Smoother, nicer mouthfeel, no metallic flavour, biscuity, bready, hoppy on the back end. It's not bad, this, the Cobra, not bad at all. Yeah, okay, so um, Kingfisher. Unfortunately, um, I really don't like metallic flavours in my beer, I really don't. Oh, it's really tinny and awful. Um, that's a 5 out of 10 for me. Kingfisher is a 5 out of 10. Um, Cobra, on the other hand, it's never going to be the best lager in the world, but it, in terms of this Indian beer comparison, it's a lot better than Kingfisher. It's a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 for the Cobra. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.